Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Recently, Topaz Labs has released a new version of Denoise AI, version 2.3. This new version has a feature in it that I think is pretty cool and very useful. And in this video, I'm going to share it with you. Before I do, I want to mention real quick that they currently have Denoise AI on sale. And I just checked, my discount code is working as well. So with their sale, you'll get $20 off. If you use my discount code, you'll save another $7.35. It's also available in the utility bundle and they have that on sale as well, uh, $55 off. And my discount code works with that as well. And if you use my discount code, you'll save another $21.25. In the description below the video, I'll have uh, links to all of that and my discount code so you could check it out. They also have a fully working free trial. So if you don't use it and you're not sure if it's something you would use, definitely download the free trial and give it a go. Now, as we look at it, uh, it does look slightly different, uh, the workspace that is. Uh, you can see down at the bottom, it says new to Denoise AI, test with a sample image. And let's do just that. We'll click on this image here. And since I have auto update preview on, it's going to auto update the preview. And you could see that it used the denoise AI mode and it got rid of noise really well. There's a uh, before, oops, before, after, before, and after. So it did a fine job. But what if I wanna check one of the other two modes, the AI clear mode or the low light mode? Um, I'd have to click through those. Well, not anymore, you don't have to. Uh, you could save a lot of time now if you go up to view and there's a new view comparison view if you click on that it will give you all three modes side by side and you can see over here's the original mode in the top left hand corner with all the noise there's the denoise ai mode and you can see that that it did a stupendous job then the ai clear mode ai clear did okay but a a denoise ai is definitely better you can see this basket in the top right hand corner in the AI clear mode, definitely has more noise in it than over here. And actually the low light mode did a really good job too. I would say that that is second best, but the denoise AI mode is still better. Now, if you wanted to choose one of these to save, just click on it and you could see that uh, the denoise AI uh, name down here has this kind of blue box around it and the other three have black boxes. That means the denoise AI is the active mode. You could see over here as well. If I click on low light, you can see the blue box moves to that one. And over here, it's on low light. So I could save the low light version. Click over here, I could save the AI clear version, or again, the denoise AI version as well. Or if you want, you could just go up to view and go back up to single view, and you'll be in the denoise AI uh, view here in this case. And then I could save it. But I'm not gonna, I'm gonna exit out of that one. I'll just show you one more and we'll not save it. And we'll go to this night image here of some fireworks. And again, it's by default, it's auto update preview is on. I have that checked and it's used in the denoise AI mode and it did a good job. But how does it compare to AI clear and low light? Well, again, um, I'll go to the view and we'll go to that comparison view and we'll let it do its, uh, its updating. And you can see in the top left hand corners, there's the original again. Denoise AI, I mentioned it did a good job. But if you look over here, it looks like AI Clear might be a little better than Denoise AI. You can see in Denoise AI, right in this lighter part of the firework, there's some uh, pixelation there, some artifacts, and it's all cleaned up in the AI Clear mode. So AI Clear looks to be better than Denoise AI. Then if I look at the low light mode, uh, that looks to be at least as good as AI Clear, maybe even better. Uh, so as we look at it, you could kind of examine it. Um, it looks to be actually just seems to me sitting right in front of my 27 inch monitor to be a little better. There seems to be a little bit more detail in the middle of that firework. So it looks like low light mode wins in this case. And you can see how that would save you a lot of time because in the past you would have to click through all those modes, let it update before you could see it. Then you really couldn't compare it, compare it to the other modes directly because you'd have to still click click through all these headings now you could just do it like that and i could save the image and i'm good to go so to me i think that's i wouldn't call it a significant update but i think it's a very useful update 
and something that I definitely will um, will uh, use and think that um, you know it's going to help me uh, get the best noise reduction for my images. Um, also, I'm not I didn't read this or anything, but it seems to be a lot more peppier. It seems to be working a lot uh, faster, and it goes through that uh, auto update preview a lot faster than it did in the past. So I'm not sure if that's you know definitely a new feature or something they improved with or if it's just me thinking that but definitely those of you that use it uh, give it a try see um, see if it's faster on your machine like I think it is on my machine uh, again in the description below this video I'll have links to the sale I have links to it if you don't own it already definitely download the uh, fully working free trial and give it a go and if you do purchase it definitely use my discount code because you'll save some money Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.